Fox 2 anchor Ron Savage dies. Ron Savage had two or three pet phrases he lob around while walking around the offices of Fox 2, WJBK, in Southfield and interacting with co-workers. Like, top job, man. Or, you had it all covered, man. And there were others, all purely positive. The news business isn't always positive. But Savage sure was. I think you're made like that, said Dan Miller, Fox 2 sports director. Some people have to try to be like that. That's just wrong, man. That was just him. Savage died Saturday morning after suffering a heart attack while training with the Milford Fire Department, the station announced. He was 63. Savage was the weekend co-anchor of the 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. news, alongside Amy Lang. He also was known for his investigative reporting, with problem-solvers spots and Michigan's most wanted segments. He won an Emmy in 2004 for his coverage of a shooting during the Detroit fireworks. Condolences quickly poured in upon word of his death. I was blessed to call him my friend, my colleague. My co-anchor, Lang wrote on Twitter. There's not a finer person or journalist in Detroit. We will all miss him. Deeply saddened by the loss of a friend and a colleague whose upbeat personality brightened everyone's days, Fox 2 morning anchor Ruproj wrote on Twitter. Raj had just seen Savage on Friday at the Salvation Army's Radio Ton. That was another part of Savage's resume, giving back. He held a medical license as an EMT, EMT, not Fox 2, was part of his Twitter handled, and he worked as a volunteer firefighter in Milford, earning two citations for outstanding performance above and beyond the call of daddy. Savage once helped extricate and rescue a driver of an overturned semi-truck. On Sunday, Savage was scheduled to participate in a climbing of the stairs at the Renaissance Center Tower to raise money for the American Lung Association. He also helped with Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Easter Seals, the Autism Society of Michigan and the Humane Society. A Detroit native, Savage had been at Fox 2 since 1999. The news business is one of stress, and it can be cutthroat, but you wouldn't know it by talking to Savage. You don't meet many like him that always leave a conversation a little bit better than when they got there, Miller said. I'll be honest with you, in all the years I've known him, I can't imagine one time when anybody walked away from a conversation not feeling better about themselves. He was just the most relentlessly positive person I've ever met. I never saw on have a bad day. He just did everything he could to live you up. Miller recalled a conversation he once had with Tigers legend Kirk Gibson, who talked about how everybody is going through life building a ladder. Naturally, there are going to be people who try to knock you off that ladder. But that wasn't savage, Miller said. Ron helped you up the ladder, Miller said. That's what he did, that's who he was. Savage is survived by his wife and a son. Funeral arrangements were not immediately known. A statement from Fox 2 was expected later Saturday afternoon.